I let's smoke a chicken today on this Pit Boss pellet grill. I've got this new rub to try. It's from Hawaii. Rub my breast, Kona coffee rub. And in the spirit of coffee, we're gonna make this coffee and apple cider and tequila dipping sauce. You can see my chicken is in a brine. It's been, br I brined it overnight. One gallon of water, one cup of kosher salt, one half a cup brown sugar. Okay, I'm just gonna get this guy out of here, right? And now I just wanna dry this chicken off. No need to rinse it under cold water or anything like that. If there's any salt hanging around the outside, we're just gonna wipe it off with these paper towels. Okay, yeah, I wanna get both sides. Oops. And then I'll show you how we're gonna season this chicken. Now, I am gonna cut this little chicken butt off. Okay. All I've got here is some duck fat in a can. I'm gonna use this for my binder. You can use olive oil or whatever kind of oil you want, just about, all right? But I like to use duck fat when I have it because it helps the skin crisp up. Now for my rub today, I'm using this Rub Me Dirty, Rub My Breast. This is a Kona coffee rub from Hawaii. Now look at that, it's got really large flakes in it. Now this is a new rub in the Armadillo Pepper Store. I haven't tried it. Sounded good, looked good, so I'm going to give it a try today. Just going to get it down here. For those of you who've watched any of my Pit Boss recipes, you know that my flame comes up down here, so I like to keep the chicken away from it. Let me peel this glove off. And I just want to touch the top up just a little, okay? I got to put my tent probe in. I am going to use this, uh, the meat stick wireless probe again today. Um, and you know, in the interest of full disclosure, they uh, sent me this uh, uh, meat stick. I didn't pay for it. You can see what I'm doing here. I selected chicken. I, I selected smoker chicken. Here's whole chicken. Okay, 165. All right. This is estimating four hours at a 250 uh, uh, degree ambient temperature. I don't believe it's going to take four hours at all. I'm not quite certain why it's estimating that. But anyway, we'll find out. I'm still learning to use this thing. Okay. Now you can see it says remove the meat stick from the charger and insert it into the meat. All right, so I just want to get this guy up here in the thick part all the way in. Let's get the lid on and let it cook. So I'm gonna make a dipping sauce. I don't wanna glaze the chicken today because I really wanna experience this rub and see how much I like it. So I'll make this coffee-based dipping sauce so we can serve it on the side. Now for the ingredients today, I'm gonna to be using some of this Patron XO Cafe. That's right, it's a coffee tequila, right? And then we're gonna have some ketchup. I got some Worcestershire apple cider vinegar and coffee in here. And then for dry ingredients, we got some brown sugar, onion powder, I got some ancho chili powder, cumin, mustard, and garlic. So I'm just gonna get this burner turned on. All right, we're gonna add in that apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and that Patron. I'm gonna follow that up with this ketchup. I'll also put all the detailed ingredients in the description box. Okay. Let me get this blended in. Now you can see we've got that ketchup all folded in. I'm just going to go ahead and add these dry ingredients. And by the way, if you don't want to use the Patron, you can just substitute that amount with more coffee. Okay. Now I'm just going to get these dry ingredients blended in. We're going to bring it up to a simmer so that everything gets all nice and, and married, the flavors get married. 
you can see we've brought it up to a nice simmer. All of our ingredients are all mixed in. I'm going to turn this heat off, let it cool down, wait for that chicken to be done. All right, so this chicken has been smoking for an hour and 23 minutes. Our internal temp is 125, and now I'm going to crank this temperature up so that we can get a crispier skin. Now you can see here's our chicken. I just want to crisp this skin up. I just cranked this pellet grill, this pit boss, up to 350. Oh, you see the screen's all pink. We're at 163. Uh, at 160, alarm went off and said you might want to take the chicken off and let it rest because, as most folks know, your chicken will continue to rise in temperature while it's resting. So we're going to get it off here. Now you can see our skin has gotten a little bit more golden brown. Okay, just get this baby off here. Our chicken's been resting here about 10 minutes. We put our uh, rub my breast, rub me dirty Kona coffee chicken rub on there. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Let me scoop this dipping sauce over for a second. It's rub my breast chicken rub, so we need to turn it over and try this chicken breast. Now I hope you guys can see that. Just look at the juice out of this chicken. Can you see the juice all over it? <laughs> I think this chicken's gonna be awesome. Okay, so let me turn it around here where I can cut a piece off. Get these gloves off. Okay. In fact, I'm just gonna cut most of this breast off. You can see it's still hot, even though it's been here 10 minutes. Okay. I, mean, I gotta get this open for you. This is one of the juiciest chickens I've ever made. You can see a butcher I am not, okay? Now let me get that open and zoom in on it so you can see the juice on this chicken. Can you see that? I mean, look, this is all juice in here. Look, look at this. I hope you can see that. Look, look how juicy. Juice is just pouring out of it. Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> That's a juicy chicken. Now, Look at this, there's our skin. We need to get, oh, I gotta tell you, this is a juicy chicken. Let's get a piece of this skin and see how this rub is. And then we're gonna try that dipping sauce, okay? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it other than it's freaking incredible. I mean, what a juicy chicken. That's from that brine, right? Now, let's try this dipping sauce. The seasoning on the chicken, oh, it's perfect. And um, one of my viewers, uh, very, very faithful and big supporter of our channel, I made a coffee video once and he said, oh, it turned me off right there. Um, this doesn't taste like drinking coffee, just so you know. L look how tender it is. It just falls apart in your hand. Okay. Let me get some of that dipping sauce. We'll try it. Oh, man. So... The dipping sauce, first of all, is tangy from the apple cider vinegar. Oh my gosh. Coffee and it's mild also. All right, Trey, I'm sorry for going on and on. Definitely one of the best chickens I've ever made. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you hit the subscribe button. Hope you hit that little bell. You'll be notified of all of our new videos.